This is the 2nd of October and it's about maybe 10 or 11 in the morning. It's been raining off and on for about the last half hour. And the reason I'm starting here, this is lot 314. I used to own this house. And what you're looking at where the water is not in any hurry and it's pooling up against the uh, 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 patio. All three houses used to look like that. And because of the work I did only five feet from that patio, you see I went here, all this is new shaping. Everything here that you see was contoured by me over the last couple of years and you can see where the water is coming out and it's kind of pooling here uh, before it heads out but I've got a lot of ditch and underground work there there's a ditch filled with rock it's like a French drain it's disguised but if this if I hadn't have done this work here this work that you see right here if I hadn't have done that right now he would have a moat in front of his patio probably about two feet wide the reason that water isn't a more of a problem or bigger, a bigger uh, uh, pond of water is because it has a way to get out through the through the contouring I did when I graded my lot. It helped him. It gave him relief because I kind of shaped it so yeah, you could get a little water. But it's rain, raining pretty good, and I've been waiting for this rainstorm because. Uh, I want to show you some of the deficiency. What you're looking at is in the middle of that puddle I have a drain. And that drain in other videos you'll see is a drain and what is coming <clears throat> it's sort of at equilibrium. It's been raining pretty hard right now. And that puddle, puddle hasn't gotten any bigger because it, it's draining over there. It's a shallow area. It takes a while, but there's a drain there and it gives relief. What it is is it's detention. You're looking at detention. That little lake you're getting right there is, uh, it's pretty good. It's raining pretty good right now. So I'm satisfied with how it's working. You see that other puddle that's about seven or eight feet off the patio. The reason that puddle is there is because this patio was built out of compliance. And because that line of plants out of there is out of compliance. The plants are high, the patio's low, and I can't get enough pitch there. But underneath that puddle, I've got two layers of six mil uh, plastic. So I'm not really looking, at, when I look at that puddle, I don't worry about it. But I'm gonna tell you the contrast, and I have movies to prove it, if, if it was two years ago, or three years ago, and we got this kind of a October storm where it just, you know, a couple of quick showers that were kind of intense, you wouldn't be looking at a little puddle like that. I'd have water back to there by now. I would have had water back to there by now and I would have had a, a moat in front of my patio. It took me a year and a half and a, and a lot of money and single-handedly out here every day no matter what the temperature was if it's 108 I'm out here with a shovel and a wheelbarrow playing a banjo all day and everybody that had problems and this is for everybody all the people that played golf for that two years it took me to correct this if you think you got sick of seeing my patio and my yard all tore up all the time just imagine how I felt. That was my total focus in life for about a year and a half or two years was to get the grading right on here. Woody Scouting came out and more or less said they built the retention area. Not directly, but if you interpreted what he said, they built a retention area around my house. They put it in a small shell, uh, uh, a small uh, saucer, shallow saucer. But right now, that puddle, no matter how hard it rains, will probably never get that much bigger than that because there's a four inch pipe 
that goes out near that bird. Just behind that bird, I've got about $300 worth of leech rock uh, that I had to pay the excavator to bring back. The same thing over there by that last wind turbine uh, where the golf cart, if you line up where that white post is, right there is another French drain and that's filled up with about 400. So I spent nearly a thousand dollars just in leech rock to build a French drain where this pipe from here ends up behind that bird. And I had to spend a lot of money to excavate and put it in. I had to rent a tractor. I think it cost me $500 or something like three days. I got it over the weekend so I got to keep it from like Friday afternoon or Saturday morning to Monday morning. Anyway, I have it for two or three days. And we were able to bury the pipes both over there and here. But I'm trying to get across to you for eight years what I bought from Meritage.